In this video, I'll show you how to digitise glass plate negatives with your camera. G'day and welcome to Forgotten Tasmania. I'm John Stevenson. Glass plates are surprisingly easy to digitise. You only need a light source and a digital camera. You can do it with a scanner, and I'll cover that in another episode, but you get better results with a DSLR camera. That's the sort with interchangeable lenses. A macro lens is great, but your Nifty 50 or the kit lens that came with the camera will work just as well. The best light source is a professional copy stand with an illuminated base, like the Kaiser one that I've got, but an iPad will work just as well too. The trick is to get the camera at exactly 90 degrees to the plate and line it up in the dead centre of the plate. Again, my copy stand does all that, but you can use a tripod, a spirit level and a mirror. Place the iPad on a flat surface. It needs to be a stable one, not a wobbly table. Place the tripod over the iPad and point the camera straight down. Use a level to get them both perfectly flat. Use a mirror to get the camera lens lined up at exactly 90 degrees. When the centre mark on the camera lens matches the reflection in the mirror, you have 90 degrees. It's really that easy. Clean the glass plate. Only clean the glass side, never the emulsion side. So the emulsion side has a slight matte finish to it. You'll see they're very different and the glass side is just straight glass. It's easy to spot the difference when you look closely. Don't use products like Windex unless it says ammonia free. Ammonia will destroy negatives. Dust off the plate, camera and iPad with a blower or a clean artist's paintbrush and put the negative in place. Get the iPad to show a full screen of pure white and turn the brightness up to full. That gives you your light source. Line it up by zooming the camera to fill the frame until the negative is all nicely squared up. Dim the lights in the room, you don't want any stray reflections in the glass. Use manual exposure. Set F8 and use the exposure meter in the camera to guess the exposure. It'll be close, but wrong because your camera is used to positive images. Take a photo and check the focus, exposure and the histogram. As long as the histogram isn't showing clipping, that's where the lines go off the edges of the screen, left or right, then you're good to go. Shoot raw and you don't have to be perfectly spot on with the exposure. Close enough will be good enough. If you have Lightroom, you can do this using a USB cable and tethered capture, which means that the images appear straight on your computer screen. If not, you'll have to download them, put them on the computer and check them. Once you get the image into your computer, you'll need to reverse the negative into a positive. In Lightroom, you do this by flipping the curve. There are presets available as well to do this automatically for you, and there's even a plug-in. In Photoshop, you just invert the layer, and in other software, there'll be a way to do it, so it really doesn't matter what software you're using. Use what you have. You might need to convert the picture to black and white if your camera's picked up any tinges of colour or the white balance is off. Now the fun bit. The negative won't be perfect. As I've said before in other episodes, the mapping of colours or shades of grey isn't exactly a straight line, it's a bit of a curve, and you need to decode that curve to get the image right. All that sounds complicated, I know, but it's actually easier than I can explain. You do it all by eye until the photo is exactly the way you want it. I do it by setting the black point, the white point, and then playing with the contrast, mid-tones, and clarity adjustments. Then you crop the image and rotate it a bit if you're off with your alignment. And there you have it, home digitising of glass plate negatives. One down, 9,999 to go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.